I'm Tina from Stevenage and I think everybody who can should give blood because it really does save a life. This is what happened to me. Following the birth of my son William, I ended up losing an awful lot of blood and without three units of blood being transfused, I wouldn't be here now. Hi, I'm Daniel from Elstree. When I was six and a half, my younger brother died from a liver-related cancer. He was four and a half at the time. Every single operation that takes place in a hospital requires stocks of blood to be available for it, no matter how sort of minuscule the operation. Um, so it could be affecting someone that is a cancer patient, a terminal cancer patient, or it could be someone that was out drinking one night and got into a fight and ended up in A&E. It's really something that you don't see coming. It could just happen that you need blood. Anyone, no matter what their fitness levels, could need it. Hi, I'm Maggie from Hitchin. I was one of the first babies to have a successful exchange blood transfusion when I was a newborn, and that saved my life. I think it's really important that everybody that can, that's in good health and the right age, give blood regularly, because if it wasn't for blood donors, I wouldn't be here today. Everyone would expect blood to be available if they or their family or their friends needed it. After I had my son, uh, I was feeling really limp, really tired and just figured it was the usual, been through a long labour, been really tired and suddenly the medical team were paged to my bed, seven medics around me, something was obviously seriously wrong. I ended up needing three units of blood in order to get me back to normal, to get my haemoglobin levels back to how they should be and to get me back on my feet again. After receiving my transfusion, 12 hours later I was up, walking about and feeling ready to be a mum. This could happen to anybody, it's one of those complications of birth, people lose blood, they need to put it back again. Without donors, there are many women who wouldn't be around to see their kids grow up. So if you have anybody that you might know that's been very, very ill at some time, I expect they would have benefited from having blood. Obviously blood doesn't grow on trees, it has to come from somewhere and that's where the important process of donating blood comes in. It doesn't just appear, don't expect it to be there if you aren't donating it yourself. People are stopping giving blood now because they're so preoccupied by everything that's going on around them, they always put that to the back of their busy life. But if you can spare time, could you make the time just to donate some blood, please? You can find out more information about donating blood at blood.co.uk, an easy website to remember. But don't put it off and don't let it be you or a friend or family member in hospital waiting for that operation. I think that everyone who is able to give blood should help save a life.